our world could be a delight if it wasn't so invested in being awful. Sh <laughs> Shockingly, animal cruelty doesn't make for a fulfilling experience. How? Like... <laughs> Where did they where did they get that? Where did they get it? Uh <laughs> same energy as when people blame GGI for violence. Oh my gosh, she yes. asked. Hold up, hold up. I was morally obligated to keep an eye on Power World. I've been playing Pokemon on and off for four fifths of my time on this earth. I'm a card carrying dwarf fortress weirdo. Which Powered Lee Dev has cited as his favorite game. Didn't we watch a video on that game yesterday? Ignoring Powered would have been a uh, dereliction derelic of professional duty. Now that I've spent a thousand hours with it, emerging this week into early access, I can comfortably say that duty might have been fine to leave derelict. I don't know what the fuck that word means. Power is lucky to be arriving in a world where the Switch proper Pokemon games are as rough as they've ever been, with the open world of Scarlet and Violet visibly tearing itself apart uh, at the seams. Power might have me might have me soaring over a generic Unreal 5 landscape on the back of a uh, knock of Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> but for a brief moment, it's a glimpse at what an open world Pokemon could be. Yeah, Pokemon could be that, but they prefer to make a shittier Pokemon game with every new year. Like, when was the last good Pokemon game? Like, five years ago? I, I even stopped following them after the latest releases. And saying that it's a knock of Charizard, you, you can make the same argument about the new Pokemons as well. They just make them similar to what was already existing and change it slightly. It's not like they did something wrong. And I think the designs are very cool. One that isn't wait, uh, Pokemon could be one that isn't flickering in and out of existence whenever you're arrogant enough to move. I'm a creatures guy. Fair. If a game setting me woos to collect little freaks, I'm content. But once I've learned to add one of Power's creatures to my base building roster, I'll remember what game I'm actually playing because it will toot out a little triumphant jingle as it informs me that my new friend has the work slave passive skill. That's just funny. It. Why? Why is the person who wrote the article comparing such things? Like it's a game. It's not real life. It's not like you made your dog be a slave in real life. It, it's just in the game. Why don't you instead have fun with it? Hello, Michelle. Pokemon has a fucking keychain uh, as a design. It's not like they're original themselves. Exactly. Let me put it this way. Watching that first power travel on uh, 2021 was like seeing a picture of Bugs Bunny smoking weed and half ironically thinking it's sick. Actually playing power is like having to hang out for hours with somebody who's made Bugs Bunny smoking weed their whole deal. It's over committing to the bit, except the bit in this case is well abusive labor conditions and animal cruelty. <laughs> and not only is the bit bad, it's actively making the rest of the game worse. I, I think the person who wrote the article needs to drink a coffee and realize that they're playing a video game. 
where the devs decided to do something new and kind of funny in a way like just because you do it in the game it doesn't mean you're gonna do it in real life have some fun with it in the game move on let me guess the animals in the game are feeling pain The big first, the big question is power just Pokemon with guns? Even if it was just Pokemon with guns, this is the best thing ever. It's certainly doing its best to look the part. If I open up my Pow deck and scroll through the Pows I've captured in uh, Pow Spheres, I'm mostly left impressed by the hubris of powered Japanese developer imitating the Pokemon style so closely while it's in the center of Nintendo's Wall Street Q radius. In a lot of cases, Power isn't mimicking Pokemon's creature design aesthetic as much as it is building from the reassembled pieces of existing Pokemon, adding a color swap and a couple of tweaked details to hide the Frankenstein's stitching. I mean, they're not they're not breaking any walls by doing that. Like, if it was a problem. Nintendo will do something about it. Whatever. Isn't every game like that though if you think about it? Like every design is like that. No matter the game. You see something, you slightly change it. Like this person is but hurt because they are a huge Pokemon fan, from what I see. And they don't like the fact that uh, a game like that came out and it's doing so well it's doing better than the pokemon games literally all the soul side games do it no one complains about it yeah literally like it's a surreal gallery of familiar eyes limbs and silhouettes vixie is an evil with someone else's head mama Mamorest is a mostly done fan. Roadhog, Shaman, but Electric Anubis. Okay, he, uh, the person is just, uh, they're comparing all the balls, whatever. There are some charming original designs. The profoundly dopey Relaxaurus is a joy to watch while around my farm. Gameplay wise, Pokemon gun version. No, the <laughs> this entire article is literally screaming. I love Pokemon. How dare you make a game better than it that resembles it? This person is so bad hurt. Doesn't actually have that many uh, Pokemon with guns. That was they never promoted that. The game never promoted that the Poles will have guns. The, the player has guns, so I don't see the problem with that. For the most part, it's a pretty standard base building survival game that was promoted. We love that. Except, of course, that uh, I've got a team of Poles to assist me. Amazing. Uh, Power plays best back at base, where mapping my post types and abilities to production tasks adds an interesting dimension to the otherwise road advancement through material and uh, tech tiers. Survival game, nothing unusual. Out in the wild, uh, Powers join in combat against wildlife and hostile poachers. Generally, I can have one power deployed to fight alongside me at once, attacking with their equipped abilities. Combat uh, serviceable but uh, made a little clumsy by Paws getting tripped up on uh, geometry and bullet spongy damage scaling. Nothing wrong with that. It makes it more fun, I guess. I mean, bullet spongy damage scaling, whatever. That's nothing unusual in games. It turns out I'm typically the only one handling the gunfighting, literally what the game was promoting. I, I don't know what's surprising about that. Each Pau uh, species has an active ability I can tell them to use, some of which can only be accessed after I've researched and built an upgrade in my base. That's fun. 
The, uh, that AK wielding uh, pseudo Grookey you might have seen isn't constantly bearing arms. It's using an ability on cooldown. From what I've seen, the selection of pulse with gun abilities is smaller than I expected. That's just your own expectations. Like. Uh, Pokemon also has like 1000 designs now. No matter what you design, they're gonna be similar to something, literally. I can't say I'm uh, particularly disappointed by the lack of more gun totting pals. We have only 100 pals, the game is early access, we're gonna get more, like... But uh, Power seems self-conscious about it. In my dozen hours with Power, it felt like it was struggling to fulfill a shock humor quota that its marketing set. And ended up uh, waiting down the pieces that could otherwise be built into a better game. Uh, advancing my base requires the supernatural, the supernatural talents of my pals and finding new types of pals in the wilderness to match base building niches is a mental puzzle I enjoyed. Okay. That's the weirdest complaint to me that there is only 100 so far. That, yeah, that's so weird. Isn't the original Pokemon game only have 151? I, I don't even remember. I think it was around there. Uh, okay, they're explaining how the game works here. The problem is that uh, the problem is that juggling actors into a swag just so the game can deliver a bad punchline. Howard isn't really asking what if Pokemon had guns. Howard is asking what if you could mango Pokemon beneath the inevitable crushing weight of industry. It's not tongue in cheek, it's mid 2000s Newgrounds Edge World. This is the cringiest thing I have ever read in my life. I think someone doesn't like their job and they're taking it, taking it out on the game. Across the board, <laughs> Power is slanted towards getting me to abuse my boss. That's so stupid! That's... That's not... All my production tasks back at base take a while, whether I and my pals are making arrows, melting or turning my... Uh, wheat and me into pancakes. I feel like that... It's a survival game, like, it's meant to be like that. I guess they haven't played Valheim. They haven't farmed iron or uh, copper to see the pain. A single one of which takes almost as long as cooking a pancake in real life. Ah, so they want when they click the thing, instead of having something to load up that it's cooking, they want instantly. Pack, 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 pack. And because I can only have so many posts working at once, the pace of progression is pretty glacial. Wait, didn't they just complain that they're abusing their pulse? Why do they want more working? Wouldn't it be logical for them to want none of them to work? What do you mean? Hello? You, you, you. I, I, I'm speechless. That person... That's... This article is stupid. And I think they, I think they just hate on the game because it's doing so good and that the person who wrote the article loves pokemon obviously from what we saw and they want to cancel the better doing at the moment new game well it's not gonna work out because power is amazing and it's doing amazing get wrecked I'm speechless.